Christmas plans this year? Any Christmas plans that you know of? Yeah, Christmas is actually going to be really crazy this year. Every year my family does this thing called Cousin, Cousin Christmas, and my family's so big. It's over like 200 members of our family that still keep in contact with each other, so it's going to be over 200 people at my house because it's my great-grandmother's 95th birthday. So it's going to be really, really epic. It's going to be a talent show and all kinds of stuff, so I'm going to be DJing the whole little event for my family, so it's going to be pretty fun. Can 200 people fit in a house? We didn't get a house for this. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> we got a whole little clubhouse, a whole little mansion type of thing going on. Oh, okay, yeah. I got you. You and you do this every year for Christmas. This is gonna be the biggest one ever because, like okay. I said, it's my great grandma's ninety fifth birthday, so it'll be kind of epic. So, on average, how how many members of your family get together? Mm, probably one twenty, on average. Just Still got, a lot. Got, yeah, we're really family oriented where I come from. Now, aside from that, any uh, specific traditions you or your family do during that holiday? Uh, the biggest tradition, like I said, is the talent show on Christmas Eve that we all do. And it's usually like my, my, my grandma's kids versus her sisters versus her brother. You know, it's like tribe versus tribe is really live. We took the crown by five years in a row now. Thanks do you to guys Lord, record truly. it? Uh, yeah, we recorded it every now and then. Last year we recorded it. Uh, two years before we didn't record it, two years back to back. It's been kind of hectic, but last year we recorded it. It's pretty live, pretty dramatic. <laughs> Craziest thing that's happened to you on a past Christmas, if any? Man, the craziest slash saddest thing ever happened to me in Christmas was I got my car repoed about five years ago. And it had all my gifts from everybody in it. It was just a bad day, bad Christmas ever. You know what I'm saying? Where I literally walked out the studio, watched my car just get towed away. And I had every gift I bought from everybody for Christmas. So I had to explain to everybody why I didn't have no presents for them. So that was a pretty bad year. So <laughs> the repo man works on Christmas? He works every night. He never sleeps. Did you ever get that car back, or did you just wash your hands with it? And I wash my hands with that situation, of course. It's too I tumultuous. See. <laughs> now, um, fa okay. Now, obviously, when it comes to Christmas, there's a lot of music. Yes. A lot of songs. There's a lot of movies that come out. Most definitely. Um, let's start with music first. Favorite Christmas song of all time? Man, I think my favorite Christmas song is "Christmas in Queens" by Run DMC, just because it has like that vintage hip hop feel. The jingle bells in the background, the video so live. This one is like one of the first like ever hip hop Christmas songs too. So that's like my favorite song for sure. And then when it comes to movies, there's a lot of movies that get My released. favorite movie ever, Christmas wise, is National Lampoon Christmas with Chevy Chase. It's hilarious in that movie. You gotta see it. It's hilarious. All right, now you mentioned gifts before. Sadly, that one time yeah. all your gifts went away. But um, best Christmas present you ever received? Man. So far. So far in life, because I'm grown, I'm gonna get Christmas presents like I used to. I was gonna say the best gift I ever probably got was my first desktop, because that's my first Make Beat song, and my first CD of Fruity Loops for Christmas. So that was like, that was probably when I was like 15. That was like my favorite Christmas. Worst Christmas present you ever received? Getting my car repo was the worst Christmas present ever. <laughs> that's not really a present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but like, no, I don't know. I mean, what about I, I, like a present you received from somebody? I mean, I'm a, I'm a sentimental person. I'm really the one of the people that, you know, it's a thought that counts. I know it sounds cliche, but I really like that. So any, no gift really bad to me, you know what I'm saying? As long as, it's, as long as you thought about me enough to spend your money or just your time out to give me a gift is enough for me, to be honest with you. Have you ever received a gift and then re-gifted a gift? Uh, no, nah, I ain't done that yet. I re I, I've, I've gotten gifts and put them, given somebody a gift in the same bag I got a gift in, but I haven't given somebody the same gift. No, nah, I ain't done that like that before. <laughs> That's shady. <laughs> 